Mina Chelsea Alma Higo, CEO and founder of Informal Workers Organization. Since 2021, we will be on transit because we began many reported cases for people in the informal sector. We also be aware of the regulations the way they be made during COVID will be affect them. And looking at the high rate of human trafficking and smuggling and the disadvantage and discrimination and neglect we are in the face. So we decide for make sure say with the advocate, lobby, do case management, research and litigation, we will help for reduce the abuse system with them we are in the face. I mean, somebody will be don't see to us, but time in the reach now, people are not able to pay for me. So, what kind of the city? The way me and they are meeting to do the work, now tell them, say, let them boss land me. So, now they begin land me the work. So, time reach now, let me back say, well, this I not go sit down. I will work because I know, say, in the long run, I go in the most make I get, I get profit over that. So, I get passion for the work. By this security work, where this work, then they help me for take care of myself. Right? Pay me rent house, huh? even for help me young people and way they're not able to afford for now because of college. Right? Um I, I thank God where are they inside the security work. Right? I not depend on person, I know the big man, at least where I work at the end of the month, I expect something. I decided to have for ready keke. One, because for now things not easy. I try to engage myself, then I depend on somebody. Why the right kick I know they get out too much shortage. I know they, I know they need something. Pass I go meet what say, do this for me. No, I, I go be said to some certain things then for me and family. Informal sectors then they know they enjoy rights at work, and also some of them not be responsible at the place of work. So in that, we advocate to government, probably they make sure say they implement the laws then. We will reflect on the lives of the informal people so that they will enjoy better terms and conditions of service and they will become responsible because that could help for reduce unemployment and it could help for increase in the socioeconomy of Sierra Leone. The ILO say 2 billion people in the informal sector and also NASIT say 84% of people in Asalon in the informal sector. If side we side they work, they face the difficulties. Like we get, um, you know, say like enemies that can come around, people are when a bad people and so man can come for can't sleep. So if you lonely, like if now you want or two, then deploy in a location where they sleep, mosquitoes. Yeah, the challenge is the way we again at it's more like we so where some one the passengers there some the way that they take you that they make you argument because of being a woman like you want to seize that advantage by you want to we can't be right and the way a man that they can ride with bad more the okada kind of rider that they, they ride with bad when they talk about you they say oh this is a woman they are facing beaucoup challenges like for example they will all go on a society where they where they scaffold with them building or fine so i can at times i can scrap the i can fold on I can I can for don't then they, they decide and do the scalp will not make so the challenges and then they well the main objective of the Ministry of Labor now for provide decent work environment for everybody with the work and who that one for work. And one part of the ways that we do that now for make sure see we develop policies and laws where they regulate all the stakeholders at the labor market, including their informal workers and the way you don't talk about so. And we know they do that one day alone. With the partner, with the key partners, then we in a Sierra Leone Labor Congress and Sierra Leone Employers Federation. We get other organizations that we will partner, partner with, for example, the Informal Workers Organization, you know, and for make sure, say, we implement them policies and they to full. Of course, you know, say the, the ministry is responsible for address the welfare needs of people that were vulnerable. And um, informal workers, you know, we don't put in this category. So, like um, the ministry, definitely they implement policies um, in, in the best interest. We we'll try for sensitize them on what the law say, you know, um, regarding the the particular sector within the, and we we'll try for work with partners, you know, other ministries, departments, and agencies, you know, for ensure say they get good life. Because we now are informal worker, you subject to a lot of uh, uh, stigmatization, you you subject to a lot of discrimination. So we we'll try for create a level playing ground. For protect the interest of the work also. We got a project where we implement with support from Open Society Foundation where they talk around enhancing decent work for informal workers. That they talk around for the people in the informal sector they enjoy every benefit as a worker. Because every job is important as now with slogan, 
Primotona Inclusion for All and the SDGC Leaving No One Behind. With all of this story advocacy, we believe say things will change and we will get a better economy and we will get people involved in making better livelihoods.